Hello, and welcome back to the Eclectic Popcast. My name is Britt. I'm coming to you since Barbie hit theaters, starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling and a slew of other stars. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to wait for it to be streaming. I did see where you can rent it for, I think it's $25 on Vudu, which I'll probably... I'm gonna be more likely to take up that option because I have a little dog and I want him to be able to be with me and watching from home is just so much easier. I've read reviews, okay? And it appears to be pretty mixed. If you read my article up on Eclectic Pop, you know that I am pretty wary of this movie. I played with Barbies intensely as a kid. And up until I think I was about 13, and I love them. I love Barbie. I love everything. I don't understand this whole thing that Barbie isn't feminist. That's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. Barbie, when I was growing up, is who gave me the inspiration to think that little girls could become women that could do anything they wanted. Barbie was, had so many careers, right? And I think the movie takes quite a few shots at Ken. My sister and I had a one Ken doll. We had a Kevin, remember him? And we also had a Blaine from Generation Girl, Barbie. And so, of course, Blaine would always buy for Barbie. And I always saw Kevin as Barbie's childhood love, like high school love. And But Ken was obviously in game for sure. And the Ken that we had, or not we, it was actually my sisters. He was actually my sisters. And he was a scuba diver, okay? So he had a job, scuba diving instructor. The idea that Ken has no identity separate from being Barbie's boyfriend or husband or partner, quite frankly to me, that's a bit absurd. And I don't understand why they could have made a movie where Ken was an empowered man who happened to have a very powerful woman, a woman who had all these jobs, and I always saw Ken as just really secure in his masculinity. His partner, Barbie, was going about being a vet, a scientist, a you name it, she did it, and Ken was just very supportive. And I also saw him as the caretaker for Barbie's sisters, you'll recall. I don't know if the movie addresses them at all, but Barbie, whose last name is Roberts, by the way. She had a last name, has a last name. She's, she's still very much here. Uh, and those sisters were Skipper, of course, Stacy, and then Kelly, who was pretty much the infant. She was three years old forever, and she had a little group of friends. So Ken, I always saw while Barbie was the primary breadwinner, and they lived in their dream house, which by the way had an elevator. My Barbie never floated down. My Barbie always got into the elevator and came on down. <laughs> I'll try to find a picture of the dream house that we have. And I'm also gonna insert some photos from actually the toy room, the toy closet in my parents' house, which is where you will see I, have, I went through it last year, or the year before last, and organized everything. So you can't see all the Barbies out and about, but we had a lot of Barbies. The Barbies are now in a pink polka dot container, which hopefully you guys will be able to make out. And I did organize all Barbies outfits, so skirts in one section, and we used a um, shoe organizer, actually, to put all of that in. And it was very interesting just going down memory lane and Barbie had all of these, you know, she had an outfit for everything. I just loved getting her a new outfit. I obviously had a favorite Barbie. Anyway, why are, I'm not making sure about me, but I just wanted to say Barbie is a feminist icon. Barbie is an empowering role model for women, for little girls. She inspired me. And I never, as far as the physical things going on, I definitely do not look like Barbie or a Barbie. 
and I never thought that I would. She is a doll. She's not reflective of me. She's not reflective of... She, she's a separate character, right? She... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be it just I don't have that issue. I did not grow up to look like Barbie. I'm super short. I'm certainly not curvy, anything remarkable in the least. Barbie is my complete opposite. But through quote unquote working with Barbie <laughs> in terms of crafting storylines and having her we because I had a lot of storylines uh, when we were playing with uh, we meaning my sister it, we were playing with the Barbies they had something going on and so it was through quote unquote working with Barbie that I I found her to be an empowering it's basically like a director and a um, actor and you don't have to as a director look like your star actor and this gives you a good feeling in terms of feeling um, how to not jealous but happy for Barbie that she looks that awesome <laughs> and uh, you're working together to tell a story so I just saw her as an extension of my mind I never saw her as a reflection of who I was supposed to be physically I guess I'm in the minority there if I am that's fine and please don't come at me in the comment section but of course feel free to share your reflections on that topic. I, I'm sure for everyone who's played with Barbies, it's been a different road for all of them. And I appreciate all opinions, of course. Uh, and I do have to add that when I was growing up, I did have a friend who looked a lot more like Barbie than me, okay? She looked a lot like Barbie. She's grown up and she looks like actress Anna Camp from the Pitch Perfect movies. So she's a very gorgeous person. She was not. We had a frenemy ship, okay? <laughs> uh, but I don't begrudge her her appearance. I did see how that affected her uh, in terms of navigating social situations and how people reacted to her versus me. Obviously, I'm not denying there was a complete difference. When I played Barbies, though, I was able to kind of escape into this world of thinking for Barbie, helping Barbie realize her goals, her full potential. I, I just never stereotyped everybody as being like my frenemy. And I never connected, by the way, that, um, or resented Barbie when I played with her and thought, Barbie is just like my frenemy because she looks like her. That's an unfortunate coincidence, in my opinion. I always thought Barbie's a humanitarian, a philanthropist, a, you name it, Barbie did it, and that would include just being a good person, really. I'm saying all this to explain that there is a whole lot more dynamic to who Barbie is than what the plot that the movie settled on. They didn't, I don't, to my knowledge, they don't address Skipper, Stacy, Kelly, home life in terms of why is Barbie raising her sisters? Where are her parents? It's just so much. So those are a few feelings about Barbie, the Barbie movie, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. We, I might be speaking more about Barbie, who knows. Um, but thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a Barbie-full day.